Chapter 3, Adjusting the Accounts, Part 2. During this presentation, we will be talking about the deferrals and specifically supplies. As we mentioned earlier, in the deferrals we have prepaid expenses and unearned revenue. In the prepaid expenses, we have prepaid expenses, supplies and depreciation. During this presentation, we will be focusing on the supplies. When we talk about supplies, we need to identify three items. First, we need to identify the supplies at the beginning of the period. We need to know the value of our supplies when our period started. Then, we need to know the supplies on hand, which means how much we still have at the end of the period. And finally, we need to know how much we used of supplies, which is our supplies expense. For us to prepare adjusting entries for supplies, we need to determine our supplies expense, which are equal to supplies at the beginning of the period minus supplies on hand. Let's take an example. This is the box of our supplies. Let's say on January 1, we had $3,000. This means that the supplies at the beginning of the period were equal to $3,000. On January 31, we checked and we found that we still have $1,000 only. So supplies on hand is equal to $1,000. For us to prepare adjusting entries, we need to know the supplies expense, which is the difference between what we had and what we still have. So the supplies expense is equal to the supplies at the beginning of the period minus supplies on hand which means supplies expense is equal to 3,000 minus 1,000, so our supplies expense are equal to $2,000. Let's take an example about supplies. On January 1, I bought supplies for worth $2,000. Back then, I did the journal entry, which is debit supplies for $2,000 and credit cash for $2,000. At the end of my accounting period, I checked my supplies and I found that I have supplies worth $500 on hand, which means there is a difference between what I had and what I still have now. This difference is the supplies expense. How am I going to know how much is the value of my supplies expense? I will use this formula. Supplies expense is equal to supplies at the beginning of the period minus supplies at the end of the period. So in this case, supplies expense is equal to $2,000 minus $500, which is $1,500. Now it's time to make my adjusting entry. So I'll start with the date, December 31, and I'll debit my supplies expense by $1,500 and credit my supplies by $1,500. Let's take another example from your books on page 60. Given the following information for Zach's company, on January 1, 2015, the company's supplies balance was $7,000. On January 10, 2015, the company purchased supplies and paid $14,000 cash. On January 31, 2015, supplies on hand amounted to $6,000. Journalize the necessary adjusting entries at January 31, 2015, given that Dex company prepares its financial statement monthly. Let's begin by conceptualizing our given. On January 1, we had supplies worth $7,000. On January 10, we bought extra supplies for $14,000. So total supplies during January is equal to $21,000. On January 31, while I wanted to adjust my entries, I checked my supplies and I found that I have $6,000 worth of supplies on hand. So the difference between what I had and what I still have is going to be my supplies expense. So in this case, my supplies expense is equal to $21,000 minus $6,000, which is equal to $15,000. Now I'll have to prepare my adjusting entry. I start with the date, January 31. I'll debit my supplies expense for $15,000 and I'll credit my supplies for $15,000.